Everybody says my paintings are very feminine, but I think there's something very sexual about this. It's, I mean, the final product's very feminine, but fabrication's pretty masculine. Just check that out. Yeah, I went a little gung ho here, <laughs> and uh, that I can repair. And the, you know, the, the resin's pretty forgiving. I started with resin about uh, 11 years ago. I started quite early. There was, I think, people who were really only working in resin. There was Fred Tomaselli and Elsie Armstrong and a couple others. And I've just stuck with it. Each raindrop is identically recreated underneath, but they're offset. And the way that they're offset spirals out. Got some goop there. So there's a focal point here, and then they start to spiral out. You know, it's risky stuff. You're working with a lot of cancer-causing materials, and I have to gear up, and it's expensive and a pain in the ass. In New York especially, some of these resins are very temperamental, and anything over 45% humidity, uh, some of them will just go white and bubble and foam, and they're just nasty. Right now I'm mixing two different types of resin with two different care times. And it's tricky to um, get the pigment mixed into the resin without getting it airborne. It's a one-to-one -one mixture. So it's one part resin to one part hardening. It's a, a rigid urethane casting resin. All right. Here we go. I call them nipple paintings or tap paintings, and they're on a chrome surface. I really liked the the resin and the metal together. Metal, because it's reflective qualities, so I could. I could bounce light off that and through various dyes and in the resin and, and get really luminous and beautiful colors. There are different pigments and they have different densities so they settle at different rates as the resin is curing and hardening. So what will happen is you'll get these comet trails of, uh, of color and light refraction and reflection. Ready to torch? The CO2 from the flame is getting rid of the bubbles. It's very premeditated and thought through, but there's still an element of haphazard chance and, um, and just what the resin does on its own. Here we go. That's it in a nutshell.